everyone. I thought that I would get ready with you or you get ready with me. I'm just gonna put on a primer at the moment. So when it comes to YouTube, I normally keep my private life very private just because I enjoy YouTube for fashion and for stuff like that. But you know, I don't wanna share everything. I mean, I know some people do and that's their prerogative, but I just like to, to not. I like to have my privacy. When it comes to friends, family, like what we do outside of YouTube, I just like to keep it on the low. Anyway, tonight, Dave and I are going out for like a husband, wife evening. I thought I've never filmed one of these. Maybe I have before, I don't know. But I'm gonna take you with me. This primer, by the way, before I move on to um, the rest of my face, this is the primer I've just used, which is from Strevectin. You might be familiar with the brand because if you've been with me since 2013, I did a skincare video back then and it included this. And this is still part of my routine. And this is from Strevectin. This isn't like a retinol treatment, but it's part of a moisturizer. So you use it at night when your skin is particularly dehydrated or you've got fine lines, wrinkles, you've been out too much, you're not sleeping or whatever. This really turns it around by the morning. Anyway, they sent me this and I think it's pretty good. It like makes you look plastic, <laughs> it's really good. My skin feels quite red at the moment, so I'm just gonna use this over the top, which is um, a redness soother from Dior and it works quite quickly. I don't know why, I just get redness there and there, mainly. I'm gonna use two things mixed together. The first is the CC cream from It Cosmetics and the second, I'm gonna mix it with this Dior uh, foundation. The reason why I'm mixing the two is if you have oily skin, use this one on its own. It's fantastic. But for me, my skin's combination, and I feel that if you leave a slight dewiness to the skin, it looks more youthful. So mixing this in just enables it to do that. So I'm just gonna do like, plus as well, I cannot get my color in IT Cosmetics. I'm just gonna wear tonight. I don't know if any of you saw that video I did in the summer where I went to the last Dior event and I wore this like red dress. I love this red dress. I've only worn it the once because I didn't have like another place to wear it. It was very inexpensive. I got it from the Outnet. So flattering. So I'm gonna wear that tonight. It's kind of like a cocktail thing that's going on. So this thing we're going to tonight, I don't really know what it is because I haven't looked too deeply into it. It's like, it's been quite a busy week and I'm going away on Monday. It's Thursday today. And I've just been trying to catch up with my work before I go, even though I know I'm still gonna have to do it when I get there, but you know, trying to get like as much done as possible. But anyway, David said to me, he was like, this party we're going to, it's been on the news. <laughs> like what? I mean, not the party, but for what the party's for, I think. Some of you have noticed, I have been using a new camera to film on. And why did I do it? Well, first of all, the other ones, I've been using them for a while and they don't last forever. But also one thing I was really noticing with them is that I was having to um, turn up the exposure on them. So what was kind of happening is that in the, in the videos where I was using them, everything looks really, really white and pale. And this camera is a bit, well, it, it, it works. So the colors that you see are a lot truer, which is quite nice. It's quite good like when I'm showing stuff to be able to see what color it really is. You know the other thing that I was gonna tell you, and for any of you who have already done this, I'd love to get your knowledge and feedback on how it works for you. Um, in, like later in February, I think it is, I've booked in to get my lips microbladed. It sounds painful, doesn't it? Right, the reason why I want to get it done is I don't know if you can tell, but versus my skin tone, my lips are almost like white. They're really, really pale. And so one thing that really frustrates me about them, first of all, that they're not straight, like one side smaller than the other. But also the other thing that I don't like is it means, because they are so white, if I wanna go without makeup, I look like I have no top lip. Like my bottom lip is probably a bit pinker than my top one. It's just blooming annoying to be completely honest. 
And the lady that I go to for my brows, who does my micro, micro blading on my eyebrows, she also does lips. And I was looking at her pictures the other day on her Instagram, and what I like, or what I don't like, is you know when you see micro blading and it's literally like a pink outline around the edge, it's like 1980s lip liner. I don't like that look. I want something that looks really natural, so that if I just wanna wear lip balm when I go out, I can. Anyway, her work looks like that. So I've booked in to have them done. If anyone can tell me what to expect, does it hurt? I would really appreciate that. Oh, let me just, I just had to dry my hair because that towel was getting really annoying. Look, doesn't it? I've just rough dried it, it looks such a mess. I think I've really left this a bit late to get ready. Does anyone else do that? You're like, oh yeah. I can get ready in like no time at all and then you try and you know. I need to find out if we're gonna get an Uber or not. I'm phoning David, he's in the house somewhere. Hello. Well, I just wondered, are we gonna get an Uber or drive? Did we make a decision on that? Hold on. I did call your name. I, I did. What are you thinking? About how to get there. I just looked at the traffic and of course it's horrendous. It will be you like, look nice. It will be like thanks. It will be like you can get an Uber if you so wish. It's up to you. No, it's not up to it me. It is up to you. I'm not fast either way. Well I can drive. Well the fiesta. Yeah. You can drive if you want, but no matter if we get an Uber or not, the traffic's horrendous unless the Uber driver can fly. Is it snowing yet? Out the I'm gonna freeze. Yes, I'm because I haven't got a coat. That's the other thing. I've... You're in a suit though. I'm gonna be in a dress. I'll put a t-shirt underneath this. Just put um, just put an overcoat over. All right. We're gonna be here at eight at this right? No, no, no. I won't be too much longer. The final look before we go. Do you know what I mean? This dress. Honestly, this dress is hot. Those two I've made myself. And then the ring and the bracelet. Well, we've parked the car. I was just looking down here. McLaren are obviously um, doing something. Check this out. Look at all of these. It's really interesting. Very interesting. Of course, the dealership uh, is, is across the road from this hotel, so... Um, that's probably why. We've just arrived. I need to tell you guys about this if this interests you. What this is, this is like, um, I think it's like a private party we've been invited to today. I don't know, because I haven't gone in yet. But there is gonna be this exhibition. Those of you who remembered when I went with Dior to Paris last year, I think that was, that exact exhibition is now, can you shut up? That exact exhibition is now in London. I have, so this camera, this is my old camera. It is cold in here. Everyone's got their coats on. Can you see that? Victoria and Albert Museum. I've never been in here. It's beautiful, isn't it? Look at that. Sophie's story time. <laughs> Let's forget about that. It's wartime, I do believe. This is from, from when, in the war times, women would work in factories and it, it became the norm that they would wear things like um, uniform. And Christian Dior worked, yeah, 1947. And it was one of the first ways of taking the uniform and making it extremely feminine in shape. That is the bar jacket. You can still get that now, although it's not as extreme as that. Right, now, 
do it properly. Which bit? The ensemble bit. You said this the is a... Gone. No, no, you just cut it. The, the ensemble, that is my favourite word. Wow, look at this dress over here. Oh, I like the bobble hat. 1957. The bobble hat was in back then. I still love that ultra feminine look where it's got a really nipped in waist and then a full skirt. What do you think? Uh, God, that waist is so it's thin. It's tiny. That's crazy. It's incredible. It's, it's so pretty. That waist though. must be about 18 inches. What's this one then? This is 1955, autumn, winter. Whose dress is that? That's Princess Margaret's. Oh, that's beautiful. That is. Oh my God, look, look, look. This oh, is that's Prin it. That's it. Princess that's it Margaret's there. Dress. That's it there. That's an old photo, obviously. She was really beautiful. And now it's got a bit yellow. It has. Do you think it was always that colour? It's or was it gone white? a little bit yellow. Did they used to smoke? Do you know, <laughs> this, this was designed for her 21st birthday, if I recall correctly. Oh, there is. Of course there is. There's lots of stuff. This is beautiful. Let me just pan. It's lighter in here, so I can actually do it. Detail these dresses. Do you know Princess Diana's dresses? Yeah, we'll see that in a minute. <laughs> I just did really yeah. bad. No, I didn't give them to everything. You can see. Oh my god. That's my favourite dress. Char Charlie's <laughs> Theron. Is that her name? David thinks she's amazing, Gorgeous. the blonde lady. That's her dress, the one she like rips off as she's just yeah. What's this? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna buy some stuff and give it away to a lucky subscriber. Right, what should we get for people? A pink pencil is quite nice, do you think? Yeah. It's one thing. Get one of every color. One of every color. And then what else? What about the little dictionary of fashion? Oh, it's at the end, the snow. <laughs> right, taxi time. Where's David? Oh, there he is. They did say it was gonna snow. <laughs> they did. <laughs> <laughs> the streets of London. I think out of all of London, this is my favorite district. How about you? Not my favourite temperature. Like, like Knightsbridge, like uh, Kensington. Yeah, I prefer summer. Actually, no, I don't. I really like winter. I'm a changed person. So I'm looking at the police car. That's what the blue that's flashing on Sophie's face is the police car. Where is it? Next to you. Is it? The blue is just there. See that light there? Yeah, but where's the police car? It's just there. Oh, that's the police. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to film them. They might get angry. Yeah, don't film them. <laughs> Fine. Why? You didn't know, they were just sitting there. I thought it was the reflection off another car. I didn't realise it was like undercover. Do you think it's funny when you see the police undercover and they'll be like in a Citroen, Citroen Saxo or whatever? Yeah, it's you like, oh. Really careful. I've seen them in all sorts. Oh, yeah, same here. There's, there's actually one around where we live. And he drives a Skoda Octavia. Really? <laughs> yeah. VRS, I think it is. Harrods. There we go. Looks so pretty at night, doesn't it? the day after, the morning after. I'm so 
tired well kind of i had a little bit to drink last night and i'm feeling a bit ropey today anyway i hope that you enjoyed coming out with david and i i really wanted to film more at the restaurant but it was quite difficult to do because the light in there was like i don't know if you could tell it was down lighters and it was quite dark so it was hard to film but if you're ever looking for somewhere to get dinner in london that place is the best. It is the Park Tower Hotel. Um, it's just up from, it's next door to Harvey Nichols actually. So the bit that you saw, David and I yesterday were invited to a Dior event uh, and it was at the Victoria and Albert uh, Museum in London, which is really close to Harrods as well. And the whole purpose of it was, it was to celebrate the opening of the Christian Dior exhibition, which opens on Monday, the 4th of February, I think, and it's on for a few weeks. The Victoria and Albert Museum is actually free to get into, and it's all fashion and design based. Honestly, it's worth a day out. If you're into that and you just wanna like have a free day out, you must go and check it. David and I wanna do a giveaway. At the end of our trip there, we came out in the gift shop and there were all of these lovely Dior books. So this is a coffee table book. It's got a wrapper on it, it's not scratched or anything. There's also this, which is a notebook, like a pale pink notebook. Whatever you do for work or play, do it with passion, Christian Dior. And then this, I really liked this, the little dictionary of fashion by Christian Dior and inside it, it's almost like a, a thesaurus. So it's got different, uh, it's done by alphabetical um, and it's got different, uh, design terms uh, for clothing um, that and it tells you what each one is and it's got really nice illustrations and Christian Dior dresses in it I'm also going to do this with it there's going to be see these three Christian Dior pencils black baby pink and grey one person is going to win all of this so your nice coffee table book and all of your nice things that's the first prize if you want to win that really easy, go and find this picture on my Instagram and leave a comment under it. Now, I need you to say which country you're in because I'm doing another giveaway that I'm gonna talk about right after this. The other giveaway, because it's all perfume, I can't ship it outside of the UK because you can't send anything that is alcohol or flammable in the post. So this deal prize, any of you can enter, but put your country so that when I draw the winner I can make sure this is going to someone who is anywhere and then the second prize see this this is full of brand new perfumes and I've even got gents perfumes so for any of you you gents who watch me as I mentioned go and find this picture on Instagram leave me a comment tell me the country that you're in and that's it and then I'm gonna I'll put details under that picture of when I'm going to draw the winners and then that's all you have to do. I'm gonna go now because I seriously need a coffee. Thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next video.